Today, we're making a crisp, carbonated macadamia nut blossom hydromel. Let's get started. All right, so what is macadamia nut blossom honey? It is a varietal of honey that um, is dark and amber color. It has some interesting flavors within it. Um, some people say it has notes of chocolate and kind of nutty, distinct nuttiness. Um, I do agree with those. I get that kind of flavor. Other people say that it has a citrus tang. I don't get that as much, but that's not to say that it's not true. The terroir or where you get this honey affects a lot of that. So the first thing you need to do is sanitize everything. So I've already done that. I got all of my ingredients and I am using this recipe on screen. So in total, um, it's gonna be a three gallon batch. I'm using the Lauvin 71B because it's just a good overall mead yeast that will do well. And I'm using Fermade O for my nutrient. We got our honey and our water and we started mixing it up. I then added my yeast in and I went ahead and added 14 grams of Fermade O and I front loaded it because at the time of starting this brew, I also started about six other ones and I did not want to do a, a staggered nutrient schedule because I'm being lazy. We've mixed all of this up. We have our starting gravity and it will start fermenting. So let's go ahead and let it start fermenting and come back after the primary. And two weeks later, our gravity is 1.000. So now we are going to add potassium metal bisulfite and sorbate to stabilize. We are now also going to move it into a new container while we stabilize. This is going to hopefully kill off and halt any yeast. About 24 hours later, I am adding roughly one pound of the macadamia nut honey and one quarter teaspoon of citric acid. So from here, I'm going to put it into the keg, pressure carb, and let it go ahead and get to the serving temperature and carbonation level that I want. All right, and now it's time to taste it. Let's go get some. And here it is in all of its nice beauty. You can see some bubbles coming up from the bottom. This is force carved and I could have gone the route of bottle carving, which I know a lot of you will have to do that because you don't have kegging equipment. But having kegging equipment allowed me to use real honey to back sweeten this and keep it lower ABV. Oh yeah. So one thing I love about this, the, the carbonation is refreshing, refreshing, but what's really refreshing about it is that slight smidge of acidity coming from the citric acid. It had a little bit of acidity naturally kind of with honey, but you've got acidity, which is the, the, uh, citric and whatever acid value found in the honey and you have the sweetness the honey um, and then you have the tannin which the tannin from this is coming out of the carbonation so that is what's super nice about this one it's crisp and clean this the macadamia nut honey itself is super interesting it's not something you mess around with a lot um, i would say that if you can get a hold of some it's definitely worth it because it is a funky but really fun honey oh yeah it's just so fresh man this is by far one of the best hydromels or lower strength um meads i've ever made and i think the big difference thing that helps me here the big thing that helps me is that i actually was able to have full control now can you have a, a lot of control when you bottle carb yeah, you can have a lot of control, but you can't have full control. What I mean by full control is the ability to control exactly what kind of sugar, what kind of honey, what kind of back sweetening agent you use. Um, you can't always super well predict the carbonation level. You can of course use calculators and things with a priming sugar, or you know, use a priming sugar calculator to attempt to get to a carbonation level, 
but you're reliant on yeast. This thing has no yeastiness to it. And that is that is something that's nice. I mean, it is as clear. This is pretty. Uh, no, it's clear. This is just a little frosting in the glass. Golly. This thing, it's got a nice um, kind of butteriness to it. It's kind of mouth coating. It's just super good. And I think the big thing here is it's, it's because I kegged it. Now, again, I know a lot of you are not able to do this recipe exactly like I did it because you don't have force carving equipment. So here's how you could achieve this minus force carb. If I were going backwards in time in trying to bottle carb it, I would have to use a non-fermentable sugar like stevia, like erythritol, like xylitol, or anything that is non-fermentable to back sweeten to the level that I desire. So it would have gone through the gravity I wanted. I've used the exact amount of non-fermentable sugar, and then I would have used priming sugar. Now the priming sugar is fermentable, and it was what creates the bottle carbonating side. The problem is you, well, there's no problem with that. It's just more challenging uh, only because you, you have to really trust your yeast. You have to trust that you know the math for your bottle carving. You also are, um, I mean, the, the truth of the matter is honey does not taste the same, or excuse me, non-fermentable sugar does not taste the same as honey. So there's no world where you can bottle carbonate and back sweeten with honey. If, unless you are capping out your yeast and doing a really sketchy thing of like attempting to cap them out, but leaving enough residual uh, sweetness. I couldn't have made this at the strength level it is without uh, kegging it. It's very good though. And I am a huge fan of this. I think that if you are able to do this in any capacity, kegging, bottle carving, getting some macadamia nut blossom honey, trying to make a hydromel is super nice. The important thing here is I balanced this brew. I don't think it would taste the same if I didn't give it that little bit of citric acid kick, or if I didn't use, uh, really, I think kegging it also made it better, as I've said many times now. Anyways, this process is very simple, and I know the beginning of this video kind of flew by very fast. So if you want to see how to make this brew, go, go back and watch the first two and a half minutes of this video, because it will explain how to do it. But my encouragement to you is attempt to make this. Maybe you settle for using a bottle carving method and using a non-fermentable sugar and priming sugar, but eventually if you're able to do it i would suggest to try and get at least one pressure pressurizing keg or you know way to pressurize things force carb i should say so you can do some more experimentation and have full control of your brew thank you for watching please hit like and subscribe if you are interested in doing that um i have another couple recipes with macadamia nut, uh, honey that are out, maybe out on the channel. Uh, one of them is a traditional mead. Another one is a pear and macadamia blossom mead, and it is very good. You can find that on the channel. You can also find every other sort of honey I think I've ever done. Um, I did a whole 16 mead, traditional mead tournament that's on the channel as well where I took 16 traditional meads that I've made and, and we put them to the test. We literally did like a March Madness style bracket with them. So uh, it was a lot of fun and you should go check that videos, those videos out, I should say. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Cheers.